Hey folks, it's Jim from the Movie Rewind. Hey guys, what's up? Time for the Movie Rewind, and I'm back here with a DVD review of No Strings Attached. Now the film follows Ashton Kutcher playing Adam and Natalie Portman playing Emma. Two people who have a strong attraction for one another that really never pursue it. The two are meeting each other over various years, and one year they get each other's number. The two begin a strictly sexual relationship. They decide that they're going to have a no-strings-attached, friends-with-benefits relationship. I'm not really a big Ashton Kutcher fan. I actually find him kind of obnoxious. He's someone you might find amusing when you're younger, but as you get older you find him more annoying. Kutcher is Kutcher. Here, he's not loud or anything like that. At the same time, though, he's kind of dull. He's not a great actor, but he has his moments in the film. Of course, Natalie Portman, she's not only scorching hot in this film, but she's also hilarious. Portman, I think, does an excellent job adding a lot to her character that's not necessarily on page. I mean, I think she could probably be a real force in comedies. She's great on SNL. She's hilarious in this film. I mean, she should probably try working with maybe Judd Apatow sometime. And I think there's some great supporting performances from Kevin Klein. Kevin Klein is fantastically funny as his dad, who ends up actually sleeping with um, Kutcher's ex. Greta Gerwig of Greenberg is becoming one of my favorite underrated actresses. She needs to get more work. She's funny in this film also. Good to see her in it. Ludacris and a bunch of other actors you've probably seen in some film before. And it's good to see Olivia Thurlby working, but she needs to get some bigger roles. I mean, she was great in Juno. She was awesome in The Wackness. And this... It, she's got nothing really to do here, but I did like seeing her pretty face. And it's one of these films that tries to pander to both guys and girls. It's a little more vulgar than I thought it was going to be. Sometimes those parts ring false and they're not funny because just saying the word fuck shouldn't just immediately generate laughs, I guess, in my opinion. This movie is cliche and predictable. It's fairly predictable. It is a solid, to my surprise. Rom-com to watch with your significant other. It it's not a great romantic comedy, but certainly better than it probably should be, or has any right to be. Would have been a great date movie in theaters, but it's also a good movie to check out at home. Well, my overall rating is going to be Rent It. And that's it. I give it a Rent It. That's it from the movie we want. And until next Rewind.